Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to reviewing the 2022 Hot Wheels Disney Pixar Lightyear series that I have here with me. Now, it's the time of the recording. I'm reviewing the first wave of it. So this is the mix one of it, of the assortment of vehicles. And the one I got is the XL15, XL1, and lastly but not least, one of my favorites from the diecast series for Lightyear is Zerg Fighter Ship. And yes, it's been a long time reviewing for you guys, and I do apologize for that. If you guys are seeing the video that my comeback and a lot of stuff that I saved up for, yeah, you know the reason why of it. If you haven't, go check it out. So yeah, before we continue on, uh, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. So make sure you go ahead and do that, and before we continue on, follow me every social media I have, and also if you guys want to support, I do have a Patreon. And I apologize for that, I was crashing my back. Um, I do have Patreon, so go to my Patreon, so the link in the description down below. It's just one dollar, so don't worry, I'm probably going to post a lot of figures that I had like, cust that I custom paint every figures from Transformers, Overwatch, Apex Legend, and more, so yeah. So, if you guys already seen my monthly toy hunt, I think it was June or May. I may not remember. No pun intended. Um, the first one I got was Zerg Battleship, and I got it at the Walmart by Perlin. This is my second copies of these three. So, the first copy, I have it on the wall. I have it on the wall, and the reason why I did that because I want to buy three of them for the wall and three of them for the reviewing, which this is my second copy of these three. This one I got it in the Walmart, um, the Walmart by Perlan. Then the next day I got the XL15, and thanks to a request to my friend Tia Fangeek, to request that one. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, my man. Give you a shout out for that. I got the XL15. Then I think, I think I got this one at Walmart or HEV. I may not remember, but I think I got it from HEV. The last time I went there on the first copy, this one I got. This one I also got an HEB for about six bucks. So these, so these guys cost about six bucks. So, anyways, um, all they have the same back, all they have the same these three. So yeah, you can see the assortment vehicles also available: XL15, XL1, and the third battleship. So this is like, like I said, this is the first wave. But the other two is the armadillo and the I forgot that name of, the, of that vehicle, but yeah. I am gonna get. I'm gonna just wait until wave two gets here, so I can get it. And I hope we could get more like XL ships in a diecast lineup because we have like XL seven, XL nine, and the others. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go pause the video, open these up, and let's begin with the review. All right, I got all of them out, and be warned, this one is actually hard to get it out. So try to make not sure to break it. And no, I haven't break mine. So thank God for it. So we got all the lovely ships out. Here you go. Let's bring the tripod legs down. Oh crap. Let's bring the tripod legs down like so. And looking over these three, these looks amazingly good. Now we're going to start off with the first one from the first wave, which is... The XL15, which is the 15 vehicle that Buzz used, and and if you guys already seen the movie, good. I seen the clips on the YouTube, so I know I haven't seen the movie yet. So yeah, what is that? I seen the I seen the clips on YouTube. The XL15, the painting and sculpted the detail of this ship looks amazingly well. The off-white with the silver, dark gray, and this lighter shade of blue. I don't know, uh, sand blue orange cockpit looks amazingly well. This is actually sculpted pretty good like in the movies. 
Um, before anyone's gonna ask, the XL15 and the XL1 doesn't have any moving wheels, so that is one of the most saddest part about this. So, yeah, and I actually love what uh, Mattel did to it because this is actually painted very good. Now on the bottom of the base right here is plastic, and I think the rest of the top of it is die cast metal. I may not sure, but I think, hold on. Yeah, I think the thrusters are plastic. And looks like it's a little bit of wiggly. I don't like that. So I guess like the this part right there, the whole part of the XL15 I made of a die cast metal, is a bit lightweight if you ask me. It's pretty good. Not much ever to say about it. You got like the they did the perfect detail of the uh, decals of it. Were pretty good. So that pretty much does it for the XL15. Now it's getting on with well, the the actual first ship, the XL1, the first ship that Buzz used in the movie. To be honest with you, the XL1 looks amazingly well. I actually love the detailing of the engine right there of the ship. Off white sand. Uh, I think the 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 different shade of blue is kind of a bit different compared to the XL15. So I think it's like a dark, like a somewhat of like a darker sand blue. I'm mean, not sure. It does have the orange tip right here. You can see a lot of detailing right there. You can see the XL1 on this side, the XL1 on the fin right here. The base right down there, it's whole plastic. This and the wiggles a little bit, I don't like that. But the whole body of the XL1 is die cast metal. And you can see the details right here of the thrusters, the engine, even the whole body of the ship looks amazingly cool. This one is a little bit of heaviness, mostly because on the back of it. And actually, actually, this is a pretty good ship of it. And now we can get on one of my favorites, Serg's fighter ship. That is it right? That actually said the name right? Sir, yeah, Sir, fighter shit. Ship. Why did I say shit? God damn it. Well, I'm screwed. This right here is actually not that bad. The whole base right here and the gunmetal gray base right here is plastic. But I think the rest of the ship is whole die cast metal. Except for the wings, which is actually made of a plastic, which is kind of a bit flimsy in my copy, and which I actually don't like it. And also, I think the both side of it is also plastic, so yeah. I actually love the color scheme of Cirque Cirque Ship. Purple, with this uh, different tone of red right here, and this ugly looking green they have. Well, the gunmetal gray looks amazingly well of it. Even the painted the thrusters on the back of it right here, like all four of them right here looks great. Except for these two, they're actually not painted, which is kind of sucks. I think the Zerg fighter ship is one of my favorites. I actually love this one so much. So yeah. Overall, the Assortsman vehicles are one of the coolest. I know, the, I know a lot of people saying the movie sucks because... I don't think the reason why... I have no reason why the movie sucks. I love the movie. Just a lot of people are nothing but ungrateful bastards. So, I highly recommend it to have this in your collection if you guys want to collect these. So, go right ahead. This is all yours. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this right here. So, have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.